How can I forget the famous campus jokes that I hear from my IIT Bombay alumni friends? My favorite is the one that I heard that goes like this. Late at night, a seemingly lost auto driver on the campus here asks a PhD student, Bahar jane ka rasta? Pat comes a reply, Char saal se main bhi yahi dhoon raha hoon. Clearly, clearly, all of you who are graduating today have had no such difficulty in finding the Bahar Jane Ka Rasta. An important phase of your life, the graduating class, is behind you. This glorious phase has been defined by three hallmark traits, a strong academic record, all-around skills that go beyond the classroom, and the great hunger to succeed. I call this the trinity of records, of records, skills, and great attitude. Congratulations on this journey. Give yourselves a big round of applause. I realize that all of you will be set on different paths from here on. Some of you will seek the impetus of further education, some will look to build businesses, and some will embrace the corporate world. Whatever path you choose, this is the moment to discover yourself anew. As you emerge from this iconic campus and meet the world outside, it is worth thinking about how you will thrive in this now new, seemingly unfamiliar world. We as a country and as, as a world are entering a high-tech and high-touch world. As the application of technology is growing, both in life and in industry, the value of human creativity is growing even more exponentially. I would argue that the value of human touch and empathy is directly proportional to the growth of technology. Empathy is valuable because it cannot get commoditized and will only get more scarce. I recently read that 34 states in the US today have a roster of professional cuddlers or empathy givers as people crave the magic of human warmth. This is, of course, an extreme and literal example, but one that epitomizes the importance of human-to-human -human connections in an increasingly tech-led world. And to thrive in this world, I believe that you must operate at what I call the intersection of people, process, of purpose, people, and machines. PPM, so that's right. I'm sure that that's a familiar ring. Uh, it rings a familiar bell for all of you gra engineering grads. But now that you have completed your graduation, I urge you to think of PPM not as parts per million, but as purpose, people, and machines. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.